Hey guys, what's going on? Montana here with thefakingof.net, the resource for independent filmmakers. It's going to try and teach you to make films better. Go check out the site. Um, there's some new posts going on right now. But today I'm going to be showing you guys um, essentially how to make a 3D model out of a bunch of uh, stills. But before we get into that, just a quick announcement. Um, you've no, you've probably noticed that there's been uh, a lack of content over the past like two and a half months, um, and that re that's twofold reasoning. I actually had 11 tutorials ready to go for everybody, but um, all of my data essentially that I had been working off of and saving to was on an external hard drive that was connected to my machine through eSATA. Um, now something happened. I'm not sure if I moved it too quickly while it was on or something, but um, it essentially. Uh, started making noises, stopped working, I lost all the data. I tried a uh, software uh, reset to get the data back, it didn't work. If any of you guys know how to make that happen, like how to actually repair it, if there's anything I'm overlooking, be sure to tell me and I will happily release those tutorials. But um, all that content is gone as far as I know. I know I can do a mechanical fix, which would have, you know, it would entail a guy going in there and physically uh, getting the data back but my understanding is it's a timely and, and costly process you know upwards of the high hundreds to low you know twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars and it's really not that that worth it to me um, mostly lost camera tests and just little um, uh, design stuff and and boards and, and stuff like that so um, and all that stuff is kind of a cathartic process anyway, so uh, I'm starting fresh at this point and I've decided to change the format of uh, these kind of tutorials and stuff I'm putting up. Um, a lot of you guys probably know that I am actually, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a filmmaker. I'm not, you know, super into post. I do it for a living and that's where I've been the past two months. I've been working at post houses. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to start solving problems that come up when you are doing shoots. So today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about a um, little uh, issue that came up. I was directing and you know doing a short out in the desert and these are pictures that I shot of the house that we shot at. So what we the problem we needed to solve was that the um, there's an aerial shot that needs to happen. Well can't exactly go grab a Scarlet in a helicopter and shoot it. Um, although I do know that there are helicopter rigs with DSLR stuff, but I always feel like it looks out of focus, it looks soft, it looks video-y to me. So, um, also we had to have this house in the ocean, okay? <laughs> so it's 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 kind of like uh, a little um, difficult, all right? So I, I, my idea was to essentially take a bunch of these photos there and you notice it's all the same camera settings and um, same focal length and I'm just literally walking around this house and just snapping pictures and the idea was to take all these pictures and generate a 3D mesh with uh, embedded textures uh, kind of baked under the geometry um, and in order to do this you know you need a full hundred th full excuse me full 360 degree um, uh, series of photos and you then take those photos and you can create something like this so what this is, is a 3D representation of what you just saw, and um, there's a lot of data here, a lot of data. Um, everything you're seeing here has been generated procedurally. I've done nothing to this image uh, other than loading in that stuff that I just shot. So, you know, you see the image breaks apart at some points, um, and that's fine. You know, it's going to do that. But... Um, for the purposes of, you know, this short, you know, essentially just having a house in 3D off in the distance, and this stuff up here can be like cleaned up or whatever. But that's not what this tutorial is about. This tutorial is just a quick, easy way to um, create this 3D mesh. And so you can kind of see here, you know, uh, as I move through each of these cameras, which represent where in 3D space those shots were taken from, it actually will pop up with the um, uh, appropriate 2D uh, original shot where those textures and um, point data are coming from. So enough about this. So this is kind of our final uh, output for today. Um, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to reset this and just do it from scratch here. Um, so what we're going to be using 
I'm actually going to save that. What we will be using is uh, this piece of software by Autodesk called 123D Catch. Um, so you open it up, it's really intuitive. Go to 100D OSD. Um, I'm going to bring in all of these photos. And then I'm going to say compute scene. And then it'll give you this, um, you know, thing. It's going to say, okay, you know, email me or whatever uh, when this scene is finished being computed. Uh, and I'm just going to say, okay. No, it won't work. I have to actually. Hmm. One second. Compute scene. Let's try that again. Okay, so then it's going to upload a bunch of photos, and it's actually going to their server. Now, I'm not sure if this is something that's happening uh, like procedurally on their end, like they have a render farm or something, and you just upload it, and then they kind of collect the data and use it, um, not just for getting you your model, but also for uh, the purposes of their own internal testing, because this thing is in beta, beta as you can see. So I'm looking at this, and I'm like, all right, um, my CPU is all, – all, all of my cores are – pretty much idling at the moment, more or less. Um, the thing that's using the most is Camtasia, which is what I'm using to record this tutorial. So, you know, again, I'm not sure wh where all this stuff comes into play or if it's something that, um, you know, they're, they're, they're doing just to do internal testing or whatever, or if at any point it will be client-side, like your own computer will be doing the processing. Um, but anyways, I'm going to actually um, pause this and I'm going to open up that scene. Um, but basically what's going to happen is it'll finish. They'll email you a link to download your OBJ or your um, – I, they have like some proprietary file format. And uh, you download it, you open it up in Catch, and you can do whatever, the, whatever you want to it. So um, this is going to take a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, and right now we are – Loading up our second house file should be almost done. It does take a while to load this file because it's just heavy. All right, here we go. So if you want to output this as a um, uh, an image sequence, or um, actually they only let you do it as an AVI, that's fine. I actually just outputted one uh, earlier, uh, and I'm going to upload that to the faking of YouTube channel as well, so you can see that output. But it's all pretty self-explanatory. It's all very user-friendly. Uh, a few other things you can actually look at the um, polys. You know, you can look at it with the actual texture and just the texture. You can turn off two side surfaces. All this stuff. Turn off cameras. Um, I'll, I'll leave it on with the camera so you can see how you know it, it correlates to the actual finished product, the grid. Um, all that stuff. So pretty pretty cool. Um, you can output a mesh, which I'm going to do best for visualization on the time. Let's do max. Let's just see. What? Oh, no selection was made on the mesh. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So that pretty much sums it up. It's a short one today. I just want to get that out there while, um, you know, I was doing this uh, setup. But again, really powerful tool for what it is. It's free. Go download it and play with it yourself. You can even use something from your iPhone. I think they have a mobile version as well. So check it out. It's a powerful tool um, for times when, you know, it. You know, three or four years ago, I would have had to get like a begged a friend who I knew would be able to model and do projections within Maya or something. Now, you know, it's totally open for whomever. So really, really cool stuff. Um, keep your eyes open for more tutorials in the near future and check out the fakingof.net. I'm going to be in Europe, um, so there's also going to be some other posts in reference to that uh, and any shooting that's happening there as well. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.